talk about switches, I know someone who can tell us. Who? Not you Professor met. Luke. <laughs> Professor Luke, over to you. A switch is two conductors which touch or don't touch. Let us take this once more, please. A switch is two conductors which touch or don't touch. But what is a conductor? A conductor is anything that allows electricity to flow through it. Metals conduct. For instance, these scissors conduct. Here, metal, it conducts. But the handle, it's plastic. It does not conduct. It is an insulator. Switches do many things. For example, you can switch on and off a light. A push button switch is turning the seesaw up and down. Switch on a doorbell. Now watch carefully. Can you see what the arrow is pointing at? No. Without a microscope, you will never see any of them. But... There are millions of tiny switches. inside your computer. What you need is a small piece of timber, a safety pin, some thumbtacks, wire, if you have to cut it, of course, we've already done it, and a little nail, something, to punch two holes in, and a hammer. Okay, first we punch the two holes in. Then we get a piece of wire and twist the end like that. And then we put it through this. And then we twist it around this bit. And we put it on the first one like this. Like that. Then you put a thumbtack there. And hammer it down. Then you get your other piece of wire, twist, bo twist both ends. There we go. And then we get this, get one end, and then wrap it around the end of the thumbtack like this. Like that. And then put the thumbtack on like this. And just hammer it down. Let's see how it really works. I've connected the wires from a battery, battery power, and the other wire to a light, and this wire to the battery. Then you get the safety pin, and put it over the thumbtack, and the light turns on. Simple. Mark, could we change this into a push button switch? Of course we could. We just bend this bit up more and then instead of connecting a light we collect we can um, connect a buzzer then we just push down you can also use it as a morse code key here's my name in morse code mark if you want to do better still you can use a screw you can just screw it in there Is it 
to screw it in. But now it's better because it has more control and it doesn't come out like the thumbtack does. But where would you use a switch like this? I mean, you wouldn't use it in the light. No, you couldn't use it in the light. It would be too dangerous. That is a very important point. These switches can only be used for toys and low voltage experiments, no more than 12 volts.